Ooh, welcome back everybody, this is Danny Code, and we're continuing on with the Act 4 Foundations playthrough here, and... I am terribly sorry to disrupt your magnificent focus. Alright, so what do you got to say Hello there, Bozo? An Irksum ship has completed its travels right in this sector. Somehow, it is managing to distort the station sensors, preventing me from witnessing a solar event in the Great Reef Nebula. I suggest you take care of this annoyance before it manages to disrupt even more observations. Oh, okay. I am on my way, Boza. Okay. So I guess we got a new a new mission here from Boza. And I'm going to give you a little bit of sit rep here. So on the last episode, we uh, rescued Boza. And he is now at our station here. So you can tell he's that little golden uh, icon right there. And he and now we have scientific research, so we have a mission to research any scientific thing. So I think I'm going to start with teleportation, but that not yet. So we still need to do like production at the station and things like that. The other thing is we have also on the main storyline, where is the main storyline here? So we also have a one is it? Yeah, here it is. So a pirate's trail. So we have to go talk to our representative from the from our faction. So we got to go talk to her and do some things for her as well. But as you can see, time left. There's you know whatever. So we can do that. And reward is one less threat. <laughs> well, I mean, I like to get a little bit of because you can see right now I have zero credit. So I'd like to actually get. A little bit more than just one less threat, but that's okay. What is the reward for this, by the way? Bozitas, peaceful, peace of mind. Okay, well, I hope there's something more to this one as well. But let's go start and do this. There was one other thing here. So while I am, let's just go ahead and start going down and seeing what Bozita wants down here. I think we need to find a ship or something like that. Is that what we're doing? Uh, so find unidentified vessel. Okay, so two things. One was that someone in the comments entering system uh, right promise Alexandrin. I think that's the the, the person. Anyways, they were talking about go entering ahead and Trinity Sanctum get a transport ship, which this is the Kestrel Sentinel, and then assign it to the station. So go ahead and do it like this. Assign it to the station to tr uh, trade for commander or trade for build storage. So we can actually have them collect for us if they can. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now I do have a manager on the station. Entering system. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the station here. And then the personnel. Yeah, so I do have a manager here at the moment so they should be able to make use of them as long as they can find I guess the resources so I'm not really too sure if there are any resources that we need in this sector and I think let me see here what uh, what is the other stats here so yeah so here's the default behavior and max gate distance is 2 Yeah, so, and Grand Exchange is where we're anchored, so if they can't find it within two gates, then we're not going to get it. But, that should make it a little bit easier, I think, because we do need quite a bit, so we need a bunch of resources here. And, yeah, and we're still gathering them pretty slow, but I'm going to keep it there, and hopefully maybe they'll find something, or they'll come across something. And whatever. Okay. So the other thing is, well, how far are we here, by the way? Entering system. Nopelia's fortune. Okay. So we're pretty close, actually. So we got to go through here. Yeah. So we're one jump away. All right. So once we do this jump, entering system. Grand exchange. And go towards that direction there. So we turn around and start going towards that direction. Oh, okay. You are here to deal with that sensor distorting ship. Your much anticipated arrival fills me with considerable relief and delight. 
Okay, so did we find it? Oh, so this is... Oh, I see. So the ship, the ship is sending out that, that uh, long-range scan. Okay. But the last little thing real quick that I wanted to show you, another commenter in the comments, and by the way, please comment and like give me tips because I don't know, like I'm still learning this game a lot. There's a lot to learn, but I'm still learning this game. Um, in the last episode when we were rescuing Boza Ta, we, he, saw, he spotted this Osprey, so we're gonna, and this Osprey is abandoned, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to claim this. Now, that was AJ, I think, AJ? Yeah, AJ in the comments in the last video. Anyways, but thank you both uh, Alexandrin and AJ for letting me know those things. And again, if anybody else has any tips and tricks or something that I missed in the episode that I didn't really see that I, that could benefit me, please put it down in the comments. Anyways, so let's go ahead and look at what's going on here with this. So has it, has it updated this? Fine, so it's still there, okay. So let's go ahead and do autopilot. Engaged. Actually, no, I'm just gonna do travel drive. Disengage. And then go over there manually. Because autopilot going through these asteroids in here may be a little bit slower. But yeah, we're it's not too too far away. Who is letting out his hands? Oh, that was the magpie, by the way. And let's go ahead and give him orders real quick. So the magpie was that ship that I bought in the last episode. Here he is. And this is my little miner. And I'm just trying to find a good place for him to mine. I think this is a good place for him to mine. So we're going to go ahead and mine here. So let's just set him up and start him mining, I think. I already had a mine in one sector. As you can see, his cargo hold has a little bit of stuff in it. But... Oh, I thought... Oh, I see. So now he should be able to... Go ahead and mine, yeah? Yeah, now he's mining. Okay. So, what are you actually doing specifically? You are... Where is it here? Free mining... Um, okay, we'll just let him go. He's searching for resources. All right, so we're very close. So let's just kind of scoot on over here, see if we can't find the ship at this waypoint. Empty space. Yeah, we're about 31.5 kilometers away. Turn on our travel drive a little bit here. Kind of curious. I've never done this mission, so. All right. So are we here? So what are we supposed to do? So we, are we supposed to scan? Perhaps. All right. So we'll do a scan. I have a feeling it's it's if we scan in the direction of where these other scans are going, like if we scan up here, like in that center point. I bet you 10 to 1, that's where he is. If I was a betting man. Yep. There is something there. So I think that's where the scans are coming from? Yeah, it looks like. Alright, so let's go towards that. That is, is it showing on the map? It's not showing on the map, I don't think. No, so that's just in space. So we'll have to think, I think we'll have to still do like that just to, yeah, there's something there. I can see it <laughs> in the shadow. So hopefully that's what we're looking for. I don't know how far it is. There it is. Okay, got it. So is it off the elliptical? Yeah, so it's like up. It's not showing on the major map here, unless I'm missing it. 
I don't know. So we'll go approach it and see what's going on with it. But I have a feeling this is what we're looking for, for Boza. Let's turn on our travel drive to get there a little bit quicker. Find person in charge. Okay. All right, so Okinawa. here. Okinawa, research. All right, so it's a research vessel. I'm going to go ahead and save because I have a feeling that we may be in... This may go, this may go, uh, this may go south. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, I bet you 10 to 1 this is like our... That research vessel that we... Yeah, it is, the Oprith. It's the research vessel. Oh, uh, so they found the station because it was their station. They found the station. And now they're here trying to research it. So we're still kind of on our uh, secret squirrel mission there. So, but I do know who's in charge. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to them. Comms channel open. Who's in charge? One moment, please. Greetings. I am Dr. Rick Feynman, chief scientist of the Oberth and in charge of Project Genesis. Wait, I know you, don't I? Yes, you, you do. You worked for us at the station. We didn't expect biological matter to have survived this transition. As I was saying, we are looking into how this station got here. Our research vessel is currently observing anomalies and gravimetric shears in this region. Alright, so yeah, so that's definitely tying in with the main storyline. Um, yeah, these are the guys, so we're with the Protectorate, but these guys are like the Terran something or other. I forget exactly what who they are, but... Uh, we're like undercover investigating them for the protectorate and that's how we got here so all right um project genesis yeah what is that i'm sorry to inform you that you currently lack the required clearance to access this information anything else uh what do you need we are currently lacking antimatter cells to complete our observations if you can organize a delivery to this vessel, we'll be able to greatly advance our timetable. It appears that they are researching the same anomaly which brought the station over here. Most of the gravimetric charge dispersed during that event, but they brought quite an array of equipment to examine the traces. Let's just hope that this satisfies their curiosity and leads to their departure. Yeah, I don't think it's going to lead to their departure, Boza, because... They, this is their station. <laughs> like we, uh, we, uh, we co-opted it, but it is their station. So, hmm, hmm. Curious. What I'm gonna do? Let's see what the timeline is here. How how much time do we have? I think that. Yeah, so we don't have a time limit here, so I'm going to do a few things before that. So, yeah. So we have a lot of things going on. We have the mission for the Protectorate to go over there, and then the missions for these uh, these guys here. All right, so what I want to do is I want to go get that ship. I want to go salvage that ship, so we're going to go do that real quick. We're going to put this one on hold. And I hope that's okay. Let me go ahead and save, just in case it's not. Okay, so we're gonna put this one on hold, as I said. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, set to inactive. And then we'll come back to that. Hopefully hopefully they just kinda stay there and they're doing their thing and then we can give them their antimatter cells in a, in a bit. But what I wanna do, like I said, is I wanna go over here and I really wanna grab this. So, Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and have my pilot drive over there. Or fly over there, as, as the case may be. Just to get him a little bit more flight time. So, I think they get more experience the more they fly. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. But, uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and select our ship here. So it's the Kukri. And fly there and wait. So, let me look at this guy here. I think he was okay. two star. And he is still two-star pilot, so I don't think that has went up at all. All right, yeah, I'm still. I really, 
would like a two-star pilot. Hopefully one of these missions, or I'd really like a three-star pilot, excuse me. Hopefully one of these missions, I can get one of those so I can get a little, a nice trading ship going and really get my passive income going. So it doesn't look like our miner though has done any mining yet. So let's go look at him real quick and see what his issues are. He is over here. Oh, there's a lockbox over here. I'm not going to worry about that for now. But it looks like he can't find... He can't find ore, maybe? Uh, let's look at him. What are you doing, buddy? Searching for resources. So, yeah, and we really haven't... This is a transaction log, by the way. We really haven't done anything since... A while ago. <laughs> so, all right. So, where is a good place to put him? I guess we can just make him go back here into Grand Grand Exchange because he was doing some things here. So, let's go ahead and do that. I guess. Let's go ahead and have him mine in Grand, Ex Grand Exchange. So, let's just kill the orders. Select them. I could have sworn this would, would this would have been a good spot for him, but I guess not. Uh, let's bring you back Entering over here, so at system. least you're local, I and then we can missed. use him for other things, maybe. Who knows? So let's go ahead and have you sector, yep, sector auto mine, and we're gonna do ore, and we will do it here in Grand Exchange One. And okay. And confirm. So he should be now on his way. So let's see. Magpie. I like that name, by the way. So you're still looking for ore here. Why are you still looking for ore here? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, so now he'll go over to the other place. There's a lot of stuff. I forget there's a lot of stuff over here to investigate, but that's okay. All right, I will do, where are we? I will do a little jump cut and uh, we'll fly over here to Hewa's Twin 5 and Entering try to salvage system. the ship. Unholy retribution. All right, so we're approaching it and where is it here? So I'm gonna take control of the ship real quick and then kind of get real close to it Hello so there. I don't have to, because I, I think I have to space space walk, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and see where it is on the map. And go ahead and target Osprey, it. Vanguard. Yeah, it's just up here. There it is. That's the bad boy. All right, let's get kind of close to it here. I don't see any hostiles except for this guy over here, but he seems to be intent on just staying there, which is good. Which fits my my objectives. Let's get there a little quicker. Oh, overshot! <laughs> All right. So we are. Yeah, we're pretty close, anyways. So I just want to get under one. Yeah, this is a medium with a dock on it. So nice. Uh, just a little bit closer. Because I really don't want to spacewalk too far. There we go. Let's stick this right in front of us so we know where it is. Get up out of our seat and go for a spacewalk. Hello there. Yeah, sup. Sup, okay. sup, buddy. Sup. All right, you spacesuits. And I think we're going to have to repair some things and then dock onto it. Oh, Osprey, maybe. Can we dock on it now? Docking not possible. Docking not possible. Okay, so no one aboard to do that so I think we need to repair something or whatever so I have a feeling we need to be near where we can actually board it with our spacesuit on here so I think let's put on scanning mode that may help us find it and let's make sure that we just have, yeah, just, we just still have a repair laser. It's a nice little turret there on the left. Right, let's see what we have underneath. Yeah, 
it looks like this that like here maybe where we dock or where we enter it ah I see it there it is so we just have to repair this little bit here I think Still no good at spacewalking, by the way. <laughs> Just the spacesuit is, I think. Oh, hold on. You know what? I, you know what? Oh, there's no, there's no flight assist. Okay. Yeah, there's no flight assist like there is in the, uh, in your, uh, in your ships. All right. So let's repair this. There, so now can I dock on it? Docking granted. Beautiful. Look at that. And that is how to get a ship that is just sitting out there and doing nothing. Now I think if it does actually have people on it, here's our dock by the way. Um, I'm gonna have my Kukri dock on here. So you sir. So we're gonna fly back to our near our dock or our space there. So let's go ahead and remove your orders. I can actually have him just follow us as well, but I think let's just dock and wait for now. Yeah, so the dock is getting ready and he should be on his way. There he is. I do like my badges on my ships. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. All right, there he is. So I think we can actually store him as well, right? Yeah, put into internal storage, but I, I think it should be fine. It should be fine. Okay, so you stay there. Don't do nothing. And let's go to the bridge. So we don't have a captain on here. So we're going to have to fly it or darn ourselves. I could probably just switch the captains out, but we're, we're, we'll hire another captain here. Oh, look at our new ship. What does this ship have on it? I don't even know. Let's do a little looky-loo. So we have some turrets here, some defense turrets, very nice. And we have a couple primary weapons here, so a couple plasma cannons. Very nice. We don't have... Oh, look at this! Yeah! We have a bunch of stuff we don't need to buy now. <laughs> but we don't have any uh, civilian ones, but we do have some military ones. Nice! I like it. I like it. Let's, uh... Well, slow, slow weapons, but I, I think they're pretty high-powered, right? Nice. I like it. Our fleet is growing. Whoa. All right. Yeah, it takes a long time for those to recharge. So one, two, look at that. And then three shots, and then it has to recharge. I think it overheats. Yeah, we need to replace those with something a little bit better. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, so we have a new ship in our fleet. Loving it. So it's the Osprey Vanguard. Nice. Oh, and it looks like our mining ship is finally mining. Hold on. Let's take a looky-loo here. Yeah, looks like we have a transaction here showing up. A new transaction very cool okay so he's mining we got a new ship now I think we're ready now I think we're ready and let's go ahead and fly back and see if we can't get those what was it antimatter cells I think to go over here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, what do I want here let's just do a auto not an autopilot yeah autopilot to here, let's make sure we have the right ship selected, which is no ship. There we go. Autopilot engaged. Oh, I like my new ship. 
Oh, look at this. So cool. Got some nice turrets on there. Got a little dock over there. Nice. Me like. Me like a lot. Me like a lot. Yeah, some shield, shield arrays in there. I think that's what those are. Heck yeah. <laughs> Look at the little bubble for the uh, for the observation deck here. Can I see myself? Or is that? Yeah, I just can't see myself though. Can't see in there. Oh well. <laughs> it's that's too cool. Okay. I do like my new ship. That will do fine. That will do nicely, I think. Alright, so we'll do a little jump cut here. No use in just watching me fly around. But we do have a little ways to go, and I will uh, be back very shortly. Alright, so we're we're here. Let me take off this autopilot here. And where's it? There it is. Must be an easier way to do this, but that's okay. Okay, so he is still here, so the Oberth is still here. And I was gonna go ahead and I have I was gonna get I was gonna show you a little bit of fleet things since we have now a defender, like our small ship, our Kukri, to defend our Osprey here. Um he is docked right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make him join the fleet, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and kill his orders. As you can see, I have him here in alpha group, but let's go ahead and kill his orders. Uh, remove all orders and assignments. There we go. So now he is no longer on. He's docked, but he's no longer in the group. So I'm going to have him undock. So you, let me see, let me just have you go here. Fly and wait. And then go ahead and execute that order. Are you gonna do it? Yeah, so he's, he's undocking. There he goes. So he's gonna fly and wait. Now, if I wanted him to be a defender of the ship, like in that fleet, like this ship is a carrier and that was one of his fighters so what I would do and I would honestly I'd find this kind of complicated so but it works uh, where are we here oh there we are okay so let me go ahead and not have you targeted let's just target you. there we go <laughs> okay so what I would do is select your fighter Awaiting orders. right click on the ship that you want it to defend and you can do defend commander and put it in a group now the other alternate way to do this is to go ahead and select it here in your uh, property owned list and then right click on the one you want it to join the group and so you have the same menu here so that's two ways to do it you can actually have other options here as well but we're gonna put it in the defend and we're going to put it in group alpha. So then now he is part of group alpha. So now he there's there's a couple things you can do with these guys as well. So if we go into the ship menu here, so now we have subordinate control and we can actually have him launched. So he'll be launched and just kind of flying around. Or we can have him docked. Now I don't know how many we can have docked on the ship. I don't think it's going to be too many. Let me look at the specaroonies on the ship here. So let's see. Information and loadout. Is that going to give us how many we can have docked? Uh, does not look like I may be, I may be missing it. Oh, this actually gives us alpha as well, the groups. That's cool. Um, logbook, behavior, individual instructions, information. 
docked ship zero of one. Okay, so we can only have one docked at a time, I think. Crew skill, sustain weapon, da da da. I think that's what it is. This has a big cargo hold as well, so we should be able to do that mission to get the antimatter cells pretty easily, I think. So we can actually use this as a transport as well. But I'm not seeing... That's just me pilot. Oh, we gotta get a pilot as well. Uh, okay, so I'm not seeing it. But anyway, so we're gonna have them docked because that is just the easiest way to do it. Uh, let's go into the ship menu here and then have them docked. So now you'll see him come into dock. So when anything shoots at us or we get in trouble, he should undock, I think, and go ahead and automatically fight and defend the ship. But I think first order of business is going to be after he docks is going to be get is going to be to get a, a pilot. And you're docking. Beauty. Okay, so let's go see if we can't get a pilot here. And I think... Where do we want to go to get a pilot, actually? I think, can we get over here to Laudy Defense Platform? Yeah, let's go over here. And let's do that. Go ahead and start guidance to that object. Autopilot engaged. Really, really liking my new ship. <laughs> it's been a while. It's, it literally has been hours and hours and hours of gameplay since I've had a anything bigger than a small ship. <laughs> so it's quite nice. All right, so we're here. We're gonna dock. We're gonna go. We're gonna go find ourselves a nice little, uh, a nice little captain, I think, on this defense platform. Hopefully, there's one here. Who knows? Who knows? And docking granted. Docking granted. Where is our docking point? So our docking point is down there. Let's go in regular view here. Be a little bit easier to look and find it. There we go. All right, and I did look at the, I did look at the loadout on this. We have a docking computer Mach two, or Mark two. Is it Mark two or Mach two? I think Mach two is a speed. <laughs> it's Mark two. Uh, oh, there's only one spot for us. Look at that. Only one spot. That is okay. One spot is one spot enough. Good enough. Very cool. We docking. We're docking. Successfully docked. Cool. All right. So let's get ourselves up here to welcome you aboard and see if we can find a pilot. We really don't need a high skilled pilot, to be honest with you. I didn't really look around the ship. It's very nice. Very nice. I like my new ship. What's down here? Oh, very cool. I like it. I think we can have... Vanguard. I think we can have several... Um, platform. I think we can have several different uh, crew members in here, actually. Let me just look real quick. What could we have as far as crew? In our big old ship it poo here, Osprey Vanguard. Let me see the information here. And the crew, crew capacity is 16. So, so yeah, so we just need a captain and we can probably get some more different crew, maybe. I don't know. Some Marines, maybe. Hello, sir. Are you good at piloting? No. Really, again, I don't need a good pilot, but I'd like at least one Hello. star. Here we go. Can I hire you? I cannot hire you. You are too expensive. What I'm going to do... Good profit to you. Good profit to you too, sir. What I'm going to do... Oh, we're auto-saving. 
Okay, so <laughs> what I'm going to do, what I was saying I was going to do here, is let's go ahead, because I have some money tied up in build storage here. I have, I just probably need another twenty or 30000 here. So let's go ahead and look if we can't just steal some money from here. Yeah, we'll just put it down. Hopefully, yeah, because we're going to need to buy some other goods as well. So let's just put that down half. There we go. So now we have 75,000. So let's go grab our, let's go grab you as a pilot. And we're going to assign you to here. There we go. Hello. And, and then do, yeah, so we can have a captain Marines and a service crew. Really not too sure what service crew does. I kind of know what Marines do. I've never used them yet. Like, this is part of the game that I haven't done yet. I've just done captains captains, and managers for stations. And hire. Thank you. I'm sure I have a lot to offer you and your company. I'm sure you do too. You look you look very competent, sir. Alright. <laughs> All right, so now we have a pilot for here. I'm super excited for that. Am I not? There we go. Why is it not selecting the, the panel? Can I select the panel? All right, so I had to get out of the game, then reload. Osprey. Yeah, then now it's working. See, that's 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 what wasn't working before. There's like two. Still two, like, little bugs that I've noticed. Like, sometimes when you talk to people, or talk to NPCs, I should say, like, the selection tool gets a little weird, and sometimes you have to reload or save or something like that. And then the other one is that you can clip into items, or you can clip into, like, stations and things like that with your ship and, like, asteroids, and then when you clip into them, you actually go into them, and you can't escape. So... <laughs> Like, those two things are like, oh, that's bad. But uh, other than those two things, I found that uh, it's a pretty solid game as far as, like, uh, you know, bugs and junk. So here's our captain. Good, good. So now we can just give him orders to do things. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our mission list here. And we're going to do, we're going to start this one again, I think. We'll set this one active. And what do we need to do exactly? Let's open up the oh, 10 units of antimatter cells to Oberth. So 10 units. So we should be able to fit those on our Osprey here. So, yeah. Is there anything else, any other information that I need to do? So difficulty easy. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll, we'll see. We'll see, buddy. Uh, let me just look at this real quick again. Oh, so <laughs> I'm getting like <laughs> these story missions really don't have really good rewards. Dr. Rick Feynman's approval. Okay, yeah, fine. Fine. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right, let's look for our antimatter cells, was it? Um, yeah, 10 units of antimatter cells. Okay, so let's look for them. As we do normally, let's turn on our trade thing there. Let's get that out of there. And then antimatter cell should be right up top here. There we go. And let's see what we got. So nothing local. So we have some bot ones as that. That's for the Oberth. Oberth? Oberth. So who is selling them? This is going to be the question. Oh no, we don't have anybody selling them. No. We have not come across an antimatter cell factory. So they are buying them as well. Over here. So I don't have any place where I can buy them. Well, that's an issue. <laughs> that is an issue. Let me see over here. Maybe there's something over here. No, nothing. 
Unless I'm not seeing it. Yeah, this is Soul Sector. Nothing over here as well. Man. I could have sworn I've seen an antimatter cell factory somewhere. Computronics. Alright, so we may just have to pause this mission. There's some stuff here that we can look at. So it may be something in here that we haven't seen. Well, that is something. That's impressive. That is impressive. Not even the uh, Talati are selling them. But we definitely have people looking for them. So if we find one, we can actually definitely, you know, profit. <laughs> All right, well then, okay, so let's go ahead and, excuse me, we'll go ahead and set this to inactive. Let's go see what our mission representative, our faction representative wants. So we'll set this one to active. And this is just bringing us over here. Let's turn this off. And yeah. So to get there though, we need to go through this sector or which one was it? I think it's one of these sectors that is very dangerous. I th I'm pretty sure it's this one. Like this red in here. Like this red or this purplish hue. I think it's that sector. Which sector is it? I know it's around here somewhere. It's not any of those. Definitely none of those. All right, so we're gonna have to, maybe it is a sector. Oh, here it is, this, this is a sector. So, but we still have to look for where it is. But see this purple in here? This is bad, this is uh, dangerous. So this will kill our shields. But if we go through it fast enough, we should be fine. And our shields are, on this ship, should be better. So let's go ahead and tell this guy, tell our Oberth here to and hopefully the Kukri on the Oberth is being protected by the, or not, the, yeah, the Kukri on the Osprey, I should say, is being protected by the Osprey's shields. I hope so. I hope it's being protected by, by the Osprey's shields because the Kukri, that'll lose shields real quick. Okay. So let's go ahead and have him, let me see here you let's select you and have you fly on over here just here is fine so I thought I would go ahead and have our Kestrel here go ahead and kind of poke around and explore these unexplored areas so I have them kind of on a as you can see here a little flight path and we're gonna see if we can't find an antimatter cell factory close here while we are actually flying towards here's the Osprey so we'll actually when we're flying towards here so yeah so I have him kind of looking around this local area here so maybe we can find one hopefully again I'm surprised that I haven't found one yet and I would think that it wouldn't be too far from the mission because this mission does say easy on it. So I would assume it's kind of in this local area. So I have him going here to last. So the Osprey, let's go ahead and kind of have him go up this direction. And then I think it's going around that way. And then it's going to have come back here. Go over here. Just kind of check these corners out and see. So we'll just have him go up and around there. Hopefully we find one. I bet you we will. Anyways, we're still flying and I'll do a little another jump cut here and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have arrived in the sector that we need to be in as far as the mission knows. So we still have this little magnifying glass icon so it does mean we need to find something. So once we get here, what we'll do is go ahead and scan the area and to do that let's go ahead and just take 
Osprey Vanguard. Just want to make sure I have the right one there. Take all the orders out, and then I will scan myself. So, get up, sir. Thank you for piloting me around. Alright, so let's do... Put our long range on. Hopefully we have some pretty good scanners in here. Scan around, see if we can't find where we need to be. Yeah, that blue stuff there, pretty sure that's hazardous. And it's just gonna take down our take down our shields there if we stay in it too long. Like a small ship, I know a small ship with like substandard shields can actually traverse it if they're going quick and they don't stop. <laughs> so that is my experience. It looks like we found an anomaly there or something. I wonder what that is. I do not have time to. Well, I do have time to do it, but <laughs> I'm really, I really want to find our waypoint here. Okay, so we have a few things here. Autopilot disengaged. All right, so that is space fuel and weapon fa component factory. Okay, so let's go see what's up here. Just do a little. Actually, let's go ahead and scan. I think it's just this way, maybe. Are we pointing in the right direction? Yeah, kinda. Just a little bit more. Like that. Stop the ship. See if we can't scan here. And find it. Exactly where it is. Aha. Unknown station, though. Uh, okay. Well. Let's go see what it is. <laughs> Let's go see what it is. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot yeah, disengaged. Right. Nothing too exciting there. A little spice farm. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the autopilot here. Turn this off, and then I want to turn on the mission because maybe she's in one of these stations that we did. So I don't know. I did see someone coming from here, like some traffic coming from this direction, so it may be up here. But let's see. Go ahead and set this to active. Yeah, we still have the magnifying glass, so we're still looking for it. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's do another scan. We're gonna go to the left here a little bit. Oh, there. What's that? Yeah, that must be it. Okay. Unknown object. All right, let's go fly over to that. Autopilot disengaged. All right, that looks like it. So let's just make sure. So our highlight, our mission highlight is there. So let's just make sure. Are we still on that same mission? Yeah. So there we go. So there's where Delilah is. Hopefully, <laughs> we can. We only have the one jump. All right. Let's go do this. Autopilot engaged. Nah. Alright, so get to Fune. I thought we had a... Oh, okay. So why... Hold on, I thought I could have got there from that way and through there, but this is a little bit of a shortcut, I guess. So yeah, she's at the same spot she was before. Okay, well, that's weird. <laughs> so... Again, I'll do a little jump cut here, and uh, we'll go talk to Delilah. Okay, so we are finally here. It uh, took us a while. <laughs> One thing about the bigger ships is that they can be much slower. So, but that's okay. Orbital defense station. We are here. Let's go talk to Delilah. Docking granted. And let's go give it a dock here. I've never docked a larger ship on one of these Terran docking things here. Oh, you got a dock right outside here. Okay. Well, that works. So the smaller ships go in the doors. These guys just dock over here. That's pretty cool. I like it. Oh, I like it. Let's see if we can't not run into the station here. 
beauty. Yeah, that Mark II auto dock computer makes all the difference. Okay. Let's get up. It's an honor to have you aboard. All right. Hello. Osprey, Vanguard. Oh, I like that. I never know. I didn't notice it the last time. The our logo is there. Our badge. Very cool. Let's go talk to Delilah. Where are we going here? Here we go. And Secret Service Bureau. Oh, that is. I'm a, I'm in the Secret Service. That's my faction. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Hello, Delilah. Okay. Any new leads on the outpost incident? Now that's the the outpost is the our station. So that was the original mission. Let's just look at that. Ever since you handed in your report, my people have been working tirelessly to find a connection between a number of intriguing events that have occurred in Saul over the course of the last few weeks. The first incidents were barely out of the ordinary. High-tech traders missing cargo, manipulated delivery schedules, the occasional kidnapping and ransoming. Then things began to ramp up. Top secret deliveries being raided, fake distress signals targeting our military trainees, sabotage on a grand scale. And lately, more and more of these incidents involve the Xenon in some fashion. We can no longer ignore the possibility of a major new threat to the Terran Protectorate. Oh, that's interesting. So, any new leads on the outpost interesting? We just did that one, and... Who could be behind this? I bet it's the Xenon. Based on recent evidence, my people are fairly sure that our opponents are the infamous Yaki. In a nutshell, they're pirates. Our data suggested that they originated as members of the Argon Federation, another splinter group they couldn't keep under control. The Yaki have always dabbled in dangerous technology, and they seem to have only doubled down on that alarming compulsion since we last had the pleasure of making contact. One of their criminal spin-off enterprises, the infamous Beryl, was responsible for an AGI drone attack on Earth in recent history. Expect their ships to be heavily armed and highly maneuverable. Huh, now I did, I have come across a Yaki. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so who could be your highness? What else can I do? So we've done those two. What can I do? Ah, yes, indeed. I recognize you might have personal reasons for your interest. So it seems only prudent to offer you this assignment first. The objective is simple. Find out where these pirates are hiding, what their goals are, and whether they can be defeated. Unfortunately, you will only be able to call upon limited support during your mission. As an undercover operative, it is paramount that no direct connection can be drawn between you and the Terran Secret Service. Once you leave Protectorate space, you're on your own. I can provide some guidance to help you get started, but ultimately, you will be the one making decisions under pressure. You and Cadet Shinneman recently encountered an especially malicious distress signal trap that was presumably set by these Yaki. They seem to be targeting specific Terran ships for some reason, and since they're keen on eliminating anyone who follows their trail, that reason remains a mystery to us. If we catch them in the act, that will tell us more about their objectives. An advanced satellite should be able to pick up on all distress signals in the sector. My team will evaluate the data and point you towards potential discrepancies. With your record, you will do just fine, Operative. I'll leave you to prepare. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So it looks like we have a few new missions here, so let's just kind of look. Yeah, Pirate's Trail. Yep. So it looks like we're going to advanced satellite and target area. Okay, so that's that should be easy enough. But uh yeah, so that's interesting. I like it. 
I like it. Uh, anything else to say there, Miss Delilah? Covert operations. Through your work on the Xenon front, you have proven yourself to be a valuable asset to the Terran cause. We might have another task for you. This one will require a somewhat softer touch, though. Having someone in our corner who is familiar with diplomacy and backroom deals will be critical to this operation's success. Our agents have been watching an analyst going by the name of Dal Busta. He is currently negotiating on behalf of the Hatikva Free League. Get in contact with this Busta character and get acquainted with the political situation outside the Sol system. Oh, that's cool. So we have another mission. Man, I'm, I'm really liking this. I am really liking There's a lot to do. Yeah, Terran preparation. So it's this one here. So Pirate's Tale. So we have this one. We, we progressed this one. And we have a new one, which is Investigate Hatikva Free League. So H-A-T. Oh, man. So a lot of good stuff. Let's go ahead and look. Did we find... Talk about missions. How about our antimatter cells here? So it looks like you're done exploring. And I don't see any new stations. Let's just go ahead and turn on this. Eh, yeah, still nothing. Yeah, so that one I guess is going to have to wait <laughs> until we find one. Until we find something. There's a lot of stuff to explore here. So I actually may send him out to explore more. Our magpie is still gathering his money, so that's good. And also our station here. Let's just turn off this filter. Our station here. Ooh, we got a person of interest here. Who is this? Why are you hanging around my station, buddy? That I do not like. Okay, so let's just look here. Plan build. Do we have anything else? Uh, this has not moved, but then again, we did take some money out of here. So I think with our miner, mining, oh, it looks like we did buy some stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and just give them all they need there. We still need a lot of credits. And again, what I'm trying to build here is a, is a energy cell production. And we're building it off of here. Here it is. So we're building it off of here. So what uh, I plan to do is make this a little bit more part of our passive income. So once we start getting some energy cells, we'll store them in our storage containers here and then try to sell them for a profit. Yay, profit. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Thank you. Anything else with you? No. Okay. So very cool. So that I think is a good place to end the video. And I do appreciate you guys coming by. I wonder what's behind these doors, by the way. I do appreciate everybody coming by and watching. If you guys have any suggestions, by the way, or any tips or tricks or anything that I forgot in this episode or that I overlooked and I missed, which is completely possible, let me know. Hello, green hair. Uh, where are we at? Okay. Uh, let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody's help in that area, by the way. And if you guys want to know the specs of my computer, they are down in the description if you want to check those out. And uh, nothing special, but they're down there, just in case you're curious. And yeah. And if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified when there's more. And also, if you are cool, hit that subscribe button, because then I'll know who you are. <laughs> All right. I hope everybody's doing fine, staying safe, and I will see everybody very, very soon. Hello. Bye for now, guys.